Okay, and welcome back to Random Atari Games. I think it's probably the last one I'm going to do, because I'm running out of ones that are actually worth showing, and this one's just on the fucking line. Number five, Danger Dungeons. Yeah, it probably sounds better than it's going to be, you might be thinking, and you'd be right. That's exactly what's going to happen. First, we have to wait for this countdown, and it does get ex uh, progressively faster. But we just have to wait, and then wait some more. Look at those numbers decrementing. Isn't that exciting? Wow. Yeah. Loading. I probably should have started the recording after this was already done, but okay, never mind. Once it gets down to about 100, you're usually okay to keep going. Come on. Let's yeah, see, it's getting faster. 90. Let me see. So, yeah, you get the picture. You can read numbers, I don't need to read them off to you, I'm sure. Almost there now. There is a game to this, I assure you. After all this counting bullshit. There you go. Dangerous Dungeons. A magical and pointless adventure. There is backstory, but no one really cares. You're in a castle, you're a wizard, the library exploded. That's pretty much the deal. And using what is normally the start button on my pad to jump is going to be a really tricky endeavor indeed. Basically, the objective in this game is collect everything that exists on the screen. Everything. The lightning, the random lightning that's appearing will kill you. And falling too far, which is more than about two floors, I think, will also kill you. It's very easy to die in this game, shockingly enough. And the jumping is going to be really, really hazardous with this stupid start button jump bullshit I'm having to currently deal with. Yeah, the items I'm collecting, if you're interested, are library books with magic in, presumably. Uh, fruit, which is apparently transmogrified wizards. And a lock... Uh, chain and key to keep all the books in. Plus the librarian was turned into a giant orange bug who will look there. Who is that thing? Weird that it appeared instantly after I thought of it and now I'm dead, so that's a problem. Ding. I'd like to- oh, I'm gonna die again from falling too far. Yeah, this game really doesn't like you. It hates the player and wants to make you suffer. I think the bug will reappear at some point. It's completely random, so... We just have to hope for the best! To be honest, this game is just down to luck, because otherwise you die, like that. Oh no! Castle Braintree is doomed. Nobody cares. No one cares. Yeah, I think I've been getting some choppiness in my recordings as of late. I'll probably look into that after this one. If I care, which I do, just barely. Um, tempted to give that one one more try, because I didn't really give it a proper, a proper attempt. Uh, and I've got to find it again. Oh dear. Yeah, I took the liberty of labelling all the discs with what games were on them. Because I, my, you did actually used to own the machine that these games are being played on, an Atari 800. And we had all these discs with these games on. Of course, we didn't label them, so finding what you wanted was a friggin' nightmare. And now it's time for the countdown of death again. Fantastic. In 220 seconds, your head will explode. Someone who is watching this somewhere, that will happen to you. I don't know who, couldn't tell you. But someone who's watching this, when that countdown reaches zero, your head is going to explode. Who's it going to be? That is the mystery, my friend. That is the joy of the countdown. <sighs> yeah, I'm just making shit up. This countdown is very dull. I apologise for it, and this will be the last attempt I make at this game. No matter how far I get, or don't get, this is far more likely. Because it's a hard game. And only hard because it's random, and no one likes random. Certainly not when it comes to destroying you. With lightning and falling. They are the only two things that can kill you, unfortunately, they are very good at it. Alright, let's just get on with this shit. Screen one again. Didn't get very far last time, did we? Oh, yeah, you die if the time runs out. That's the other thing that can kill you. Oh, it's our old friend the bug again. Shall we collect him? I think we. Well, no, we're gonna die instead. Not off to the best of starts. I think there are only ten levels to this game, which is probably for the best. Okay, we've got the key. And there's a book. Yeah, you can sort of jump round corners like that, but it's very, very pernickety. As I said, the controls for this particular system sucked. Everyone knows that they sucked. If you ever played on one, anyway. If you haven't got played on one, then I would recommend it. If for nothing else than the nostalgia factor. There we go. Screen one is done. Did I say it already? Uh, this game only has 10 levels? I have a feeling I already said that. But if I didn't already say that, this game already only has, blah, 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 only has 10 levels. And there's the chain. Excellent. 
Can we collect it without getting zapped by evil lightning? Well, that's what we will have to find out. Probably not the most intelligent route to pick, but there we go. Oh, stupid jump physics, I hate you! There we go. And then up to the top floor. And then over here, and then over here. Okay, that's screen two done! Awesome. You've completed screen two. Yeah, the, that's the same every time. It just increments the screen number, but there you go. It's an Atari game. What do you want?